Hi everyone, I'm Riley Smith. I'm an exercise physiologist here at Saga Fitness. Welcome to our training series. Today we're gonna to be talking about everything BFR. Let's get started. With blood flow restriction skyrocketing in popularity, you've probably heard the term recently used or even seen some of your favorite athletes training with cuffs around their arms or their legs. You've probably heard people talk about the benefits, but what exactly is BFR? By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of what BFR training is, how it works, and what the benefits are. We'll break down the science in an easy way that's simple and actionable. Blood flow restriction training is what it sounds like, sort of. It involves putting a cuff around the top portion of your arm or the top portion of your leg and engaging in some form of training. BFR training partially traps some of the blood flow from the heart into the muscle. So remember that the arterial blood flow is from the heart to the muscle and our venous blood flow is from that muscle back to the heart. BFR training only restricts that venous return. So if you've ever had a good resistance training session, you've experienced this to some degree, even without resistance bands. Let's take the infamous pump. For example, let's just use the bicep curl. If we did a whole bunch of bicep curls with limited rest in between each, you'll notice a whole bunch of blood pooling and swelling up that muscle. When a muscle is being challenged, it requires more nutrients and oxygen oxygen to power it. So the heart pumps faster and delivers that necessary blood to the biceps. This physiological response is beneficial in many ways and blood flow restriction bands allow you to achieve this faster and to a greater degree. Now you know what's happening in your body with BFR training. The next question is, why does it work? Why does partially restricting blood flow during training have such benefits? Some of the mechanisms of blood flow restriction training is still unknown. We know it works, but we're not too sure why. In a bit, we'll talk about the science behind what we know, but first, let's talk about the benefits. Some of the benefits of BFR training include increased strength, increased muscle mass, and increased aerobic capacity. How can you use BFR training for strength and hypertrophy? We know that resistance training improves strength and muscle mass alone. So why bother with BFR training? BFR training can achieve similar strength and hypertrophy as traditional resistance training at much lower loads. There are several advantages to this. For example, when injured, you may not be able to carry the same amount of load or lift the same amount of load as what you previously could, but with blood flow restriction, you can lift lower loads and still achieve similar strength and hypertrophy as what you were previously. In circumstances, when you wanna to try to gain or maintain muscle mass without actually having to lift heavy. And in times where you have limited weights, for example, in lockdown or when traveling on holiday. When resistance training, the weight must be heavy enough to stimulate growth. Let's take a squat, for example. If you're squatting 405 pounds, it's gonna be highly unlikely that you're gonna be loading up a barbell with 90 pounds and doing repeated squats and see any sort of muscle growth. The weight is simply just too light to send a stimulus to the muscle for it to actually grow. Enter BFR training. Blood flow restriction training has shown to repeatedly increase muscle mass and strength at only 20% of a one rep max. Back to the 405 pound squat example, 90 pounds would be just above 20%. So if you could achieve a similar stimulus lifting 90 pounds as opposed to 405 pounds, you can really see how BFR would be of benefit. We're obviously made of more than just muscle. We're made of joints, tendons, and connective tissue as well. Sometimes our muscles feel amazing, but our joints are struggling. Joints and connective tissue take longer to recover than muscle. If you've ever experienced joint pain, you know how bad it sounds throwing weight on your back and then cranking out a whole heap of squats. BFI bands afford you the ability to not sacrifice gains when the joints aren't capable of lifting the heavy loads. What about BFR for recovery? Our body only has a certain amount of resources available to be able to recover from training. Think of your body like a gas tank. Training will pull gas out of that gas tank, but you can't continue to do that indefinitely. Of course, sleep, nutrition, hydration, and stress management are all pillars for recovery. Right within this list though is proper programming. This is the delicate balance between pushing yourself past new thresholds and not overcooking yourself. We know that losing muscle not only hinders this performance, but it also increases the likelihood of developing injuries. BFR is a magic alternative to lifting heavy weights. It allows you to maintain muscle mass without major energy cost. So, regarding BFR as a recovery tool, you could almost look at it as a method of continuing to train with cheaper energy costs indirectly impacting your recovery. There are also some direct benefits of BFR for recovery. I'm sure you've all heard the term lactic acid or at least felt its effect during training. When you engage in BFR training, you notice an increased lactic production in a shorter period of time when compared to non-BFR training. This increase in lactic acid stimulates the release of molecules and proteins such as growth hormone that assist with recovery. Growth hormone stimulates the synthesis of collagen along muscle, tendons, ligaments, and bone that assist with 
the recovery process. Perhaps one of the most incredible benefits of BFR training is how it can increase aerobic capacity. Before we dive into the evidence here, let's first define aerobic capacity. Aerobic capacity is simply defined by how well your body delivers the oxygen to the muscles and how well that muscle utilizes the oxygen. BFR training can lead to significant increases in how your body performs both of those tasks. Like how improving strength without BFR cuffs requires heavy loads, improving aerobic capacity without BFR cuffs requires high training intensities. BFR cuffs, however, create a hypoxic environment even at low training intensities. This forces the body to adapt and become more efficient, both at delivering the oxygen to the working muscles and utilizing that oxygen. We mentioned earlier in this video that some of the mechanisms behind BFR training are still unknown. In other words, we know that it works, but we can't fully explain how it works so well. There are some known and some proposed mechanisms that are likely to lead to the strength, hypertrophy, and aerobic capacity increases. The first is metabolite accumulation. Metabolites are substances that are found during or that are necessary for metabolism. These metabolites are increased during BFR training from the lack of blood clearance out of the muscle due to the occlusion of the venous structures. This is anabolic in nature, ultimately contributing towards muscle growth. The second is a hypoxic environment. As we discussed earlier, the superimposed hypoxic environment seems to lead to serious improvements in aerobic capacity. There are other potential secondary mechanisms, but for the purpose of this video, we'll stick to the ones that we just spoke about there. So, this is how you get started with BFR training. Saga Fitness produces the world's first Bluetooth-enabled smart blood flow restriction bands. What does this mean exactly? Let's discuss the smart piece first. Remember how we mentioned that BFR training partially restricts venous blood flow? By partial, there's actually a specific science here. Much of the research says that you should occlude 50% of the arms and 80% of the legs. You wouldn't want to just arbitrarily throw a band around your arms or legs without understanding what percentage is being restricted. This is where smart BFR BFR technology comes into play. Saga's BFR cuffs auto calibrate to you and allows you to select what percentage of occlusion you'd like to train at. This allows you to mirror the benefits found in research without the guesswork. Second, the Bluetooth piece. Saga's cuffs are fully wireless and don't require a manual pump to achieve calibration. The cuffs are controlled via a user-friendly smartphone app so you can train BFR anywhere. If you're interested in purchasing some blood flow restriction cuffs or learning more about BFR training, you can head to the link in the description. Mm -hmm.